Do you find yourself stuck in the same relationship arguments repeating the same drama over and over? It's almost like being caught in a loop, isn't it? These relationship loops are more common than you might think. They can seriously drain both partners, emotionally sapping your energy and joy. Recognizing these patterns is the first crucial step towards change. Understanding the dynamics of these loops is essential for both partners who wish to cultivate a healthier, more fulfilling relationship. If this sounds familiar, stay tuned as we explore effective steps to break free from these exhausting cycles. The first step to solving any problem is recognizing it exists. Imagine you're in the midst of a heated debate with your partner. You've been here before, haven't you? The topic might shift, but the pattern feels eerily familiar. It's like watching a rerun of an old TV show, knowing exactly what comes next. This is where the journey of breaking the cycle begins, identifying these recurring patterns. Start by paying attention to the triggers. What sparks the disagreement? Is it financial decisions, household chores, or perhaps in-laws? Recognizing these triggers can provide profound insights. Next, consider the common topics of your arguments. These are the themes that keep resurfacing, often because they touch deeper issues or unmet needs. Equally important is to observe the emotional responses that accompany these conflicts. Do you find yourself feeling frustrated, sad, or maybe defensive? Understanding your emotional landscape is crucial. Keeping a simple journal can be a powerful tool. Jot down the triggers, topics, and emotions associated with each argument. This isn't just about keeping records, it's about spotting trends and understanding deeper dynamics. Once you pinpoint the patterns, you're already on your way to breaking the cycle. Now that you recognize the patterns, how do you discuss them without starting another argument? The cornerstone of breaking the cycle of relationship drama lies in mastering the art of communication. It's not just about talking, but about how you talk and listen. The first step is to embrace open, honest, and calm communication. This means sharing your thoughts and feelings without the heat of anger or frustration. Imagine discussing an issue with a friend whom you respect deeply. This is the level of calmness and respect you should aim for with your partner. Next, let's talk about I statements. These are a powerful tool in your communication toolkit. Instead of saying you never listen to me, try I feel unheard when we talk about this topic. This small shift in language can make a big difference. It takes the focus off of blaming the other person and instead expresses how you feel about the situation. Furthermore, consider establishing a relationship check-in, a dedicated time each week where you both can discuss ongoing issues or concerns in a structured and calm environment. This isn't just about airing grievances, it's also a time to acknowledge what's going well and what might need a little more attention. Effective communication is like a dance. Both partners need to be in sync, listening as much as they speak, responding with empathy, and always aiming for mutual understanding and respect. Remember, it's not you versus your partner, but both of you versus the problem. Identifying and talking about the issues is crucial, but the real change comes with action. Once you've pinpointed the recurring problems in your relationship and communicated openly about them, the next step is to agree on tangible actions to break these cycles. It's about turning insight into action. Let's talk about setting boundaries. This could be as simple as agreeing on a timeout signal during heated discussions, allowing both partners to cool down and collect their thoughts. It's a small mechanism, but it can profoundly change how conflicts evolve in your relationship. Changing habits is another crucial step. For instance, if you find that your arguments often stem from misunderstandings over daily responsibilities, try creating a shared calendar. This way, both partners can visually keep track of chores, appointments, and special dates. It's not just about reducing confusion, it's about enhancing cooperation and appreciation for each other's efforts. In some cases, the issues might be deep-rooted, and it's perfectly okay to seek professional help. Consulting a relationship counselor isn't a sign of defeat, but a sign of commitment to making the relationship work. A counselor can provide neutral ground and experienced insights to help you navigate through your issues more effectively. Remember, the goal here is not to achieve perfection overnight, but to initiate progress. Emphasize mutual effort and break down these actions into small manageable steps. Each small step is a building block towards a healthier, happier relationship dynamic. Actions speak louder than words. Start small but start now. Change is a journey, not a sprint. How do you keep the momentum going? Once you've begun implementing changes in your relationship, the next crucial step is to monitor your progress and adapt along the way. 
It's like being a gardener tending to a garden. You need to keep an eye on the plants, understand what they need, and adjust your care accordingly. Start by setting regular intervals to review the changes you've made. This could be weekly or monthly depending on what suits your relationship best. During these reviews, ask yourselves, what improvements have we noticed? Are there areas where old patterns are resurfacing? This isn't just about acknowledging what's going wrong, it's equally important to recognize and celebrate what's going right. Adaptability is key. If something isn't working as expected, don't be afraid to tweak your approach. Perhaps the way you've been communicating needs a slight adjustment, or the time you've set aside for each other isn't quite enough. It's all about finding what works uniquely for your relationship. Remember, this process requires patience and persistence. Change rarely happens overnight and there will be moments of frustration. However, it's these very challenges that can lead to growth and a deeper understanding between partners. Encourage each other to stay committed to the process. Support one another through the ups and downs. It's through this supportive endeavor that you truly learn about each other and grow together. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a step towards a healthier relationship. All work and no play can make relationship work seem daunting. In the journey of breaking free from the cycle of repeating relationship drama, it's crucial to pause and appreciate the strides you both have made. Recognizing and celebrating these improvements, even the smallest ones, can be a game changer. Think about the last time your partner made an effort to communicate more openly, or how you managed to stay calm during a discussion that would have previously turned into a heated argument. These moments are milestones. Acknowledging them does more than just give a pat on the back. It reinforces the positive behaviors that you both are working hard to cultivate. Celebrating can be simple, yet meaningful. It could be a quiet evening with a favorite movie or perhaps a special dinner. The act itself is not as important as the recognition that comes with it. It's about saying, I see what you've done, and I appreciate it. Remember, every step forward is a step towards a healthier, more resilient relationship. Celebrating small victories together strengthens bonds and encourages continued effort. Let's quickly recap the steps to break free from the cycle of relationship drama. First, understanding and recognizing the patterns that lead to recurring conflicts is fundamental. It's like being a detective in your own love story, identifying the usual suspects of misunderstandings and frustrations. Once these patterns are spotted, the real work begins. Next, enhancing communication is not just about talking but about connecting deeply. It involves listening to understand, not just to respond and expressing your feelings and needs clearly and respectfully. This opens the door to genuine understanding and empathy. Then, implementing changes based on these insights. This could mean setting new boundaries, adjusting expectations, or finding new ways to support each other. It's about taking action, not just making plans. Monitoring progress and adapting as needed ensures that these changes become effective and lasting. It's a continuous process of learning and growing together. And don't forget to celebrate successes along the way. Each small victory is a step towards a healthier, happier relationship dynamic. Every couple has the power to transform their relationship. Start today and write a new chapter together.